There's a meaning in magic and numbers. Do you have a lucky number? Do you make a wish when the clock is at 1111? Claudine Caro is here to share with us how the number 20 has made a once Jersey girl now a ma called Durham home. Claudine. So throughout millennia, there has been meaning in magic and numbers. There's the three of the Holy Trinity. There are the seven heavens of Islam. There are 10 commandments. In mythology, there are the nine muses. And in the Western world, 13 is considered an unlucky number. Well, this year for me, my magic number is 20. And I want to show you reasons why. It's been 20 years since I graduated college. I went to Rider University, which is a small college in New Jersey, just outside of Philadelphia. It's about an hour from my home. And I didn't really want to go there, but it gave me a scholarship, so I pretty much had no choice. I graduated in 1995 with a business degree. I majored in advertising. So I had these big dreams that I would be writing the ads that you would see on TV, and I would have that corner office on Madison Avenue. But it didn't really turn out that way. I didn't have any internships, and my classes really didn't prepare me for that. And when I think about my classes, you know, what did they really teach me? And not much. Um, what I really learned was outside of the classroom. I'm in a sorority, I was a sorority president, and I lived in a house with 50 girls, and it was kind of hairy at times. So I learned that being in charge doesn't necessarily make you a leader. A leader is someone who models the ideals, and you hope that people just kind of follow you and, and take you at your word. But I didn't always make good decisions. Um, living with 18 to 21 year olds, we are just wired to make bad decisions. And I was just fortunate that this happened before Facebook, before Instagram, before digital cameras. But what I did learn is that, yes, these bad decisions can happen, but so long as you learn from them and try not to repeat them. So in the 20 years, I learned that the degree was not the most valuable thing from college, it was the relationships that I made. And these core group of women, they keep me humble, they keep me grounded, and they love me in spite of or because I am an idiot. <laughs> so the next 20 is about the number of jobs that I've had, <laughs> give or take. So this is related to either job titles or the types of responsibilities in the jobs that I've had. First, I want to talk about the jobs that I downright hated, and you know you've all had these. Um, the first one that was completely awful is babysitting. And I was a horrible babysitter. I would come home after school, this is when um, Hulk Hogan was on wrestling, and I would practice with my kids body slamming them on the couch. Uh, I had the dreaded mall jobs, and it sucked because I was working on the weekends while everyone else was going out. But the worst job ever was selling these stupid Kirby vacuum cleaners door to door. They lasted two weeks, never again. Then there were the real jobs, and the jobs where I actually had health insurance. Um, I started in the mid-90s in the tech industry, so I had to worry about the Y2K bug. I was working on building websites. I was in the whole dot-com boom and the dot-com bust, which made me that cynical Gen Xer that you read all about. Um, but I learned that my passion is to connect people and ideas. The job that I had the most lessons from was waiting tables. Um, in that fast-paced environment, I realized it was what I did that made the make-it-or-break-it experience for my customer. I learned teamwork was vital to success and how important it is to be able to laugh with your coworkers every day. The next 20 are my lovers, give or take. Um, so these are the people who come into your life for a specific reason. They allow you to learn about yourself and to find your path in life. First, these are the crushes. Um, these are the, the first loves and the ones who break your heart or whose heart you wind up breaking. They're the ones who showed up because it was kind of convenient. Um, you look back and you might think, you know, what was I even thinking? But face it, these guys here, they were just the time fillers. They just kind of made things go by. Then there were the lovers who were friends at first. And these are the guys who really made my heart skip. And even now, when I think about them, I can't help but bring a smile to my face. These are the ones who really taught me how to be in a relationship, what it meant to be in a couple, um, what I want, what I didn't want. They kind of got me in practice for finally the one. So there is that one guy where you share a love so strong where it absolutely terrifies you. He challenges you to be the best version of yourself. You learn how to compromise everything but your values. He's the one that brought me to North Carolina, and he is ultimately the one that got away. 
So, as a result of my grief of what I lost, let me tell you what I gained. <laughs> um, I've gained about 20 pounds since that day living in North Carolina, but I swear I've earned every single bit of it. So it's no secret that Durham is a foodie town. You've seen it in the national news, you've read it on BuzzFeed lists. Um, and what I love about Durham is that there are a million places that I can go to drown my sorrows or celebrate success with my friends. And what I love most about uh, being in Durham is that I don't go to these restaurants as a patron, I'm really part of a bigger community. So what I love are Saturday mornings, at the farmer's market or when the food truck rodeo rolls through the town of Central Park. I love it because you just bring a chair, bring a blanket, and bring your appetite and you can sample everything. And you can spend the whole afternoon just kind of bits and pieces here and there and just people watching it. And I love that it has become an extension of my backyard. Or if I'm craving something sweet, I can stand online forever at the parlor and get some ice cream. I can get an alcohol-themed cupcake at the cupcake bar or I could go to my favorite Monets for a delicious donuts. So it's no wonder how easy it is to gain 20 pounds living in the South. But my favorite 20 is the 20 plus four months that I've been living in my little Durham neighborhood. I live in a little house on a little street, just a little walk from downtown. But my neighborhood is big on fun. That's what made this once Jersey girl very happy to call Durham home. My neighbors have become my friends, and my friends have become my family. So, every year, every job, every love, every pound, every month, all got me to where I am today, and I couldn't be any more happy. So that is my magic of 20. <laughs>